Greetings everyone and welcome to this new video on how to perform descriptor analyses in R. The packages we'll be using for this tutorial are the GT summary package, the flex table package and the GG power package. The GT summary package is an amazing package to create publication ready tables, not just for descriptor analyses, but even for regression, Kaplan Muir and much, much more. The flex table package will help us to print the tables which are outputted by the GT summary package and the GG power package will help us to create great plots using minimal lines of code. For this example, we'll be using the empty cars data set from the base data sets package and we'll store this in an object DF. So we need to run this chunk to load all the libraries, <clears throat> we can run this line of code to store the data set in an object. We can attach this data set for easy access accessibility to this data set later on the line. We can view the data set to have an overview of how it looks like. To get a description about what this data set is, we can use the help function to get an idea. Now this is a data set on 32 models of automobiles between 1973 to 1974. And these are various parameters of the automobiles. The abbreviations are given here. MPG stands for miles per gallon, CYL for number of cylinders and so on and so forth. Now before Running any hypothesis test, we would of course first like to get an overview of the data. We'd first like to get medians and IQRs for continuous variables, frequencies and percentages for categorical variables. This is extremely easy to do with just one line of code using the TPL underscore summary function from the GT summary package. And we can store this in an object table one. And after running this line of code, we can call table one to view the table. So this is the table which we are provided with, with the medians and IQRs and frequencies and percentages. By default, it is important to note that the GT summary package gives us medians and interquartile ranges. If we wish to get means and standard deviations, we can include this argument for a statistic, the statistic argument, and we can list all the continuous variables uh, to be outputted with means and standard deviations. If we want to group variables over a certain factor in this case am which is the type of transmission automatic or manual we can do so by using the by argument and store it in a separate table table 2 and we can call table 2 call this object and now we can see that all of the variables are grouped over the two levels of type of transmission, so automatic or manual. And we can compare both of these. To get mean and standard deviations, as I mentioned earlier, we can include the statistic argument and we can st store it, we'll store it in a separate object table three. And we'll see how this looks like in the GT summary table. So now these are means and standard deviations. Of course, frequencies and percentages haven't changed. And now these values are the means with standard deviations in brackets. Now to visualize data from the GG power package, we can use the GG histogram function to get a histogram. In this case, for the miles per gallon MPG distribution. 
So run this line of code to get histogram. So this is a histogram. We can also get box plots using the ggboxplot function. And we want to segregate the mpg continuous variable over levels of the factor am or transmission. So we'll run this line of code and we get nice box plots. So the thick middle line represents the median and the borders of the box represent the interquartile range, so 25th and 75th percentiles respectively. The GG scatter function will help us to get a raw scatter plot. And if we add the arguments add using the regression line or the reg line argument, and if we add the confidence interval, so confidence int function argument, we'll get a best fit line with its 95% CIs on top of a raw scatter plot. If you want to explore more from these packages, you can simply use the help function to explore these packages, the GT summary and per bar package specifically. And you can also explore all of these functions using the help function. So the help function I have explained in the ABCs of R playlist, how to load. So what R markdown files are, what R scripts are, how to load packages, how to install packages, all, all of that stuff has been explained in the ABCs of our playlist. So I would highly suggest you to go and check the, that playlist out. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.